Welcome back. In this video, I want to showcase some of the patterns you might come across in other projects when importing and exporting modules. They all are valid patterns and I want to make sure you're aware of them. I'm going to begin by creating a new file. math.js Within the file, I'm going to define a function. It's a function that accepts two numbers and returns their sum. Our first pattern is when we have to export and import a single variable or function. In math.js, specify module.exports is equal to add. In index.js, const add is equal to require dot slash math. We can then console log add passing in 2, 3. In the terminal, run node index, and we see 5, which is the expected output. This, of course, is also the pattern we have already seen. Let's now proceed to the second pattern. In the second pattern, instead of having module.exports on a separate line, we directly assign the arrow function to module.exports. So comment out module.exports is equal to add and instead on the first line, replace const add with module.exports. The import will remain the same. If we now rerun node index, we should see the same output. Let's now proceed to the third pattern where we export more than one variable or function. I'm going to revert back to const add is equal to a function. I'm also going to add a second function. Subtract accepts two parameters and returns the difference. Now to export both add and subtract, we can type module.exports and this is equal to an object. Here we set a property add to the add function and a property subtract to the subtract function. With ES2015 features though, we can specify just add and subtract if the key and value are the same. So add comma, subtract. We are basically attaching properties to the exports object that exists on every module. Now, back in index.js, require will return an object. Let's call it math. We can now invoke math.add2,3 and math.subtract2,3. In the terminal, if we run node index, we see 5 and minus 1, which is the expected output. This is the third pattern. When dealing with object imports though, you might also come across destructuring, which is again an ES2015 feature. After requiring the module, we destructure the functions from the object. So const add comma subtract and this is from the math object. We then invoke just add and subtract on lines 5 and 6. Run node index again and we still see the same output. A variation of how we attach functions to module.exports brings us to the fourth pattern. When we define the function, we can directly assign it to a property on module.exports. So instead of const add and const subtract, we specify module.exports.add and module.exports.subtract. We can comment out the object export. Rerun node index and we see the same output. 
So this is our fourth pattern. For the fifth and final pattern, we're going to revisit the iffy that wraps every module. If you remember, the function that wraps every module in Node.js receives five parameters. The first parameter is exports. Now exports is a reference to module.exports that is shorter to type. So for our fifth pattern, we can replace module.exports with just exports. So exports.add and exports.subtract. We run node index and we see the same output. However, I will discourage you to use just exports and always stick to module.exports. And your immediate question would be why? Why is it better to use module.exports instead of just exports? Well, let me answer that question in the next video. But for now, I hope you're clear with the five different patterns to import and export modules in Node.js. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.